something grows in your data is something that can be really annoying, especially when you want to analyze your data. But getting rid of these blank rows is sometimes a difficult task if you've got lots of them. To start off with, we could just go down and delete these one by one. The easiest way if you was doing that is to click in the number on the left hand side to highlight the complete row, hold your control down and press your minus key and that row has gone. But of course if you've got thousands of rows that would take ages. Now I've got a scenario here where I've got some blank rows in here but there's no other blank cells it's just blank rows so this scenario is reasonably easy all you've got to do is highlight the columns hold your control key down and press G and then we need to select that special button just there so if you hold your shift alt and press S that selects that and then we want the one that says blanks so we can either click it or press K and then click OK or just press enter and there are all your rows that are blank selected and we can just hold control key down and press the minus key now this then asks us if we want to shift the cells up or the entire row well this is quite good because if you've got data over on this side that's separate a separate set of data you could just click shift cells up and OK and they all move up the problem is if you decide to delete complete rows and you did have data over here it would also delete that data so shifting the cells up is quite a good way of doing it and we've now removed all those blank rows I'll just undo this again let's put some blank cells in here now and just delete some of these numbers out here we'll just randomly do a few just to give you an idea of the issue that we get okay we'll do this again highlight the columns control G shift alt and S and then K and now enter and can you see what it's done it's selected the rows that are blank but it's also selected all the blank cells so now if we did a control minus and shifted our cells up or entire rows can you see it's actually now misaligned all our data it's moved everything up so that really just is not suitable so I've got a couple of methods that may work for you it does mean entering a few formulas or functions but it's a great way if you've got thousands and thousands of rows so what I do is go to the end here and just put a temporary heading I'll put temp because I know I'm going to delete that afterwards and then I want a formula in here or a function I should say that counts so equals count and we want to count a that's all non blank cells we don't want count on its own because that only counts cells with numbers in and you may have a database that's got some text in there as well as numbers and dates etc so count a is the one to use and then highlight the whole of that row there and close your bracket and that tells us that we've got 12 cells so what we're really looking for is cells with zero across that same range now the thing is if this goes down thousands and thousands of rows you can't do your double click because if I double click can you see it just stops at the first blank row that means you've got to keep double clicking to go down so how do we highlight all of this so what you do is just go and highlight the whole column 
where you have got a set of data then hold your control key down and press your full stop that takes your white active cell right down to the bottom of the spreadsheet 1,048,576 cells down now hold your control key and press your up arrow and that takes your active cell to the bottom of your data okay so if you've got thousands and thousands you know that you're at the bottom now just move across to the right one cell hold your shift and control and your up arrow now all you do is hold your control key down and press D and that duplicates that formula or that function all the way down now the thing is we've got to remove the function and we just want the values so if you copy this control C and we want to do a paste special so if you come over to here and then we can select values only which is this one and now you'll find that all of our cells have just got values in there the other way of doing this I'll just undo that to show you another way okay we've now got our functions back in here let's assume that we've got that highlighted you can just hold your right mouse button over the edge of this line you would normally hold your left one if you was moving this to another location but hold your right mouse button down and it turns back into the pointer and just move that away and move it back over itself and then you get a little pop-up menu where you can copy here as values only and that's the other way of removing your formulas or functions and leaving you just values okay we're nearly there so while it's important to keep this highlighted all the way through now do a control H which is your find and replace and you want to find the zeros so put zero in there don't forget it's not an O it's a zero and we don't want to replace it with anything so leave this one blank click replace all and that will replace all of those zeros with a blank so you can click OK and close this it doesn't replace other ones so you can see over here I've got some zeros in other places it hasn't done that it's only done the zeros in the highlighted area that's why it's important to keep this highlighted now while it's still highlighted we can now go and select those particular cells so control G is your go to and then we want to click that special or we can hold shift and alt and s which is your go to special and then we want the blanks and can you see that the k is underlined in blank so i can either click that or just press k on my keyboard and that selects it then we just want to click ok or press enter and we've now selected all the blank cells next to the rows that are completely blank now control minus and this time we don't want to shift the cells up because that will only move the cells up in that particular column we're going to have to accept that we've got to delete the entire row so this doesn't work if you've got data going on over on this side somewhere because that would also delete the data in those rows click OK and you've just deleted all your blank rows and it's ignored the blank cells that we've got and not messed your data or misaligned your data now all that we've got left to do is to highlight that column and control minus deletes the column and we've got our data back to where we were so I'm going to undo this because I'm now going to show you just one more method so let's undo it so we've got our blank rows back and I'm just going to delete this column this temporary column so we've got our data back to where we started
Okay, so here's another interesting method for you that I've come up with. It's using conditional formatting in the range of data so that we can then sort this by color. So again, I tend to like to put a set of data here. Again, I'm going to call this temp because I'm going to remove it and I'm going to put a number one here and I just want this to go down in series so that if I do mess up when I'm sorting I can actually get all my data back into the same order so again just highlight one of the columns that's actually got your data in control and full stop takes you right to the bottom of the spreadsheet and then just control and up arrow once stops you at the first piece of data then you can just right arrow across to the column that we want to put our series of data in. So now we can do control shift and up arrow. So it stops at our first number one that we've got there. Then we can come over to our home tab, across to the fill, come down to series and make sure this step value is one just here. Click OK and we've now got a series of numbers. So if we do mess up with the sorting of this data, we can always get it back to the correct order and then we can delete this column. So that's just as a bit of a safeguard really. So now what we want to do is make these rows red here so that we can see which ones have blank rows. So we've highlighted the, all the columns, then you go to conditional formatting and come down to new rule. Then you want to come down to the one that says use formula to determine which cells to format. So we don't forget, let's format the color first. So I want a fill color of red and OK. And now we would just want a formula in here. So just click inside this bit what we want to do is we want two logical tests so I want both logical tests to be true so I'm going to use the AND function so it's equals AND open bracket so now we need to use our count that we did earlier so let's put count A open bracket then highlight A1 across to L1 in this case you don't want to use the column that we've put in there temporarily because that hasn't got a blank in our blank row now this range of data has got absolute reference in and we want to remove it from the rows so that this works down through all the rows so you have to press the F4 key twice so that we've got dollar sign a and then one and then dollar sign l and then one so we want count a from that range to equal zero in other words that will count these rows where there is no data all the way across the cells then we want a comma so our second logical test that we put in here as part of this AND function is really to say this cell here again we need to press F4 twice so that it's just the M in this case that's highlighted is greater than zero and then close your bracket for your AND function so basically we're saying look if the count from a across to L equals zero and there's a number in here that's greater than zero that's when we want to color the cells in red so both conditions must be true so now click OK and there we have all of our rows that have got blank cells in red this the blank cells on their own do not get counted here. It's only when everything counts across here as zero. 
So now all you need to do is come up to your data tab, click your big sort button, and that highlights all of your data. And you can pick any of your columns here. I'm going to pick the temp column and I want to base this on the cell color. And I would like the red color at the top. Click OK. And there's all our blank rows all together. And I can just highlight the, all the rows if I don't mind getting rid of all the rows completely but if I've got some data going on over this side then I just need to highlight this set of red cells here then hold control down and press minus and then this allows us to shift the cells up and it won't affect anything over on the right hand side click OK and we've now got all our blank rows deleted this temporary column that we've got here is just in case you do some sorting and mess it up so you can just click any one cell in there and just click the A to Z and that just makes sure that it's in ascending order you can now highlight that complete column and control minus and delete it out and there's your data with all of your blank rows gone Hope you found at least one method that might help you there, help you get rid of blank rows. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos.